Hey, what's going on? It's your girl D here bringing you the uh, June. Well, this is the Men of Earth series for the Virgo man, King Virgo, for the month of June 2021. Again, this is the Men of Earth series for June 2021. We are speaking specifically to the Virgo man, King Virgo, for the month of June. I hope all is well with you all. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you've not subscribed, feel free to do so. Hit that notification bell. Uh, take what resonates from the reading. Leave what doesn't. All of it may resonate. Some of it may resonate. None of it may resonate. Take what does. Um, if this reading doesn't resonate, check your other placements or check the other types of readings that are available on the channel. There's a variety of readings for you to check out. Okay, so this again is for the Virgo man. Uh, so let's see what we got going on. So the first column here represents what's going on within you internally, what you're dealing with. Uh, the middle column represents your career, money, and finance, lifestyle, and what you have going on in those areas. The third column represents your family life, your love life, or your, you know, your friends, just your personal life as far as dealing and interacting with others. All right. So uh, we have for your uh, personal, what's going on within you, we have the forest energy here, clarified with the house in reverse. The challenge here is the symbol called Wanzhou, but it is in reverse. This is it upright. It came out in reverse. We have that clarified with hope and big water. And then the uh, way that you can resolve the challenge here is by uh, implementing the uh, energy of a square and the five of cups in reverse. So what I'm getting here with this is, um, and I'm going to put some clarifiers out. Of course, but what I'm getting here is I feel like for some of you, um, you may not be happy where you live. You may be wanting to uh, be someplace where you're more secluded. Um, maybe you're not comfortable with where you are because you, you know, maybe you want to be alone. I get that some of you may want to relocate. If you don't want to um, take a vacation, you may want to relocate or move. Um, you may be uh, feeling that you, you know... You're not happy where you are, right? Some of you could be feeling depressed. Uh, you could be uh, bored. Uh, you could just be antsy. You could just know that this is just not for you. It's time for a change. And for some of you, if it's not about going on a vacation, it's about actually moving or relocating. Let's clarify this house energy in reverse. So we have the Knight of Cups energy here. So some of you, I feel like, you know, you're not happy where you are, especially with the Knight of Cups energy. And I feel like you're, you're on a journey to uh, happiness here. Maybe you um, are not happy with your hometown or maybe you just got out of a relationship or you're in a relationship and, um, you know, you're not happy where you are. I feel like it's more so just not being happy where you are. Some of you, it is because of a relationship. Some of you, it's because it's just time to move on. It's time to grow. Let's clarify this big hope and big water here. Because that's your challenge. Your challenge is um, basically uh, there's no harmony here. You know, and you're looking to go other places like with this card here. This could be somebody who's looking for happiness, but somebody who also wants to travel. Okay. Uh, and we have three plus six, which is the number nine. That's the hermit energy. So that is your energy. So this is all about, you know, some place where you can have peace of mind. You can figure things out, you know. Um, and then we have that clarified with the nine of diamonds. So, um, yeah, this is all about you being um, happy emotionally, um, feeling good within yourself, feeling like yourself, feeling happy emotionally, spiritually, physically, and um, mentally. Uh, this is about good health. Uh, emotional health, spiritual health, physical health. Um, and so I feel like for some of you, um, it's a challenge. The uh, The outcome here is that there it could be a challenge with you changing your mindset. Um, let's get clarifiers with that. So yeah, maybe it's just a matter of you coming out of the funk that you're in and maybe moving to a new location will help you with that. Clarify the five of cups in reverse yeah we have that clarified with the page of wands yeah i feel like for some of you you're bored you could just very well be bored you're looking for a new adventure um your intuition is telling you there's time for change so again if this is not about you wanting a, a vacation because you just need a break and you need to be alone this is about you wanting to relocate move to a different area some of you are looking at different areas um maybe moving out of the city 
Uh, it could be something as minor as moving from one location uh, across the bridge or across the border, <laughs> you know, um, to another state, uh, especially if you're in the states. But it could, you know, it could be overseas as well. Uh, for a lot of you, it could be about vacation too, okay? So one or the other for you with that. Now, as far as career, money, and finance, we have the construction worker energy clarified with the foe in reverse. Here's the foe card upright. The challenge in the situation here is the uh, Rado energy, R-A-I-D-O, uh, but it is in reverse. This is what it is when it's upright. It came out in reverse, and we have that clarified with a funeral. That's the obstacle in the situation. The challenge, I mean, the uh, suggested uh, outcome here, or what you may be able to do, is implement the Libra energy, uh, and also with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So what I'm getting here is for some of you, um, this could be about construction work. Okay, some of you could be in construction work. You may have gone through some training and or shadowing. Uh, maybe it was a new job or now you're at the position where you've learned something or acquired some knowledge and you're done watching or you're done being in trainee mode. All right. And I feel like for some of you, you're ready to move on and actually, um, you know, take things to the next level. I feel like the challenge is, though, is that um, you could be wanting to change your mind about things um, in reference to what you studied. Some of you may have studied construction or studied a particular craft. It doesn't necessarily have to be construction, um, but it's something that you're using your hands with your building. Uh, it could be any type of creative work. Uh, it could be an artist. You could be an artist. You could be into horticulture. Uh, you could be into uh, painting, construction work. Uh, but I feel like, you know, you've done this already. And you I feel like maybe some of you are having a change of heart in reference to what you're doing or what you want to do. So what we're saying here, or what is showing here is the way to resolve this would be to... Um, hmm. Be around like-minded people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be around people who have the same ideas as you. You may have to open up a bit with the Four of Pentacles in reference to communicating with people, seeing who's doing what, who does the type of stuff that you're interested in, uh, who specializes in the type of work that you're interested in. Uh, and then, you know, uh, reach out in, into those areas and connect with people who may have connections in those areas. What's the full energy in reverse? What's the full energy in reverse for the Virgo man? We have the Strength Energy in Reverse, Major Arcana of Leo. Um, I feel like there could be some power struggles at the job. Maybe that's why you're um, not interested in this. Or maybe you're being pulled someplace else uh, to do something else. You're no longer, I feel like the challenge is you're no longer interested in what you've trained to do. All right, clarify this funeral energy for the King Virgo, please. We had to clarify with the Seven of Cups. Yes, he, you are not really sure what you want to do, but I feel like you're changing your mind about the current profession that you're in. You may want to do something different. Um, and so, you know, I feel like you still want to do something where you are creative. You're able to create and build. Uh, but what it is, is you have to find um, maybe a school or, you know, people who are in that particular profession who would be able to provide you some insight. So that would that would involve you opening up and connecting with people. Yeah, we have the three of coin in reverse here. You would have to, um, you know, probably work for somebody. Maybe some of you don't want to work for someone with the three of pentacle in reverse. Um, but this could also represent that maybe you're not able to, you have to open up to find work in the area in which you're looking to go into. Okay, whatever that area is. But I do feel like some of you may be feeling like you want to change uh, professions or what you were doing in the past is no longer interesting to you. Maybe it, it drains you physically, okay, with the strength energy here. Or, you know, this is something that maybe you're not confident in. It's like you know how to do it, but you feel like it doesn't really represent you and who you are. Um, and it doesn't put you in a position where you feel powerful and in control uh, in reference to what you're doing here. So uh, for some of you, it, it looks like you may need to reach out and find people who are doing what it is that you're interested in doing and network with these people. Um, and that's what this is saying here with the Libra energy. Now, as far as your love life, your um, social life and your family life, we have the football energy here. And we have that clarified with the sweetheart card that came out in reverse. Here's the card upright. Okay. But it came out in reverse. The challenge here is the... Um, 
rune symbol of Burkano, B-E-R-K-A-N-O. And then we have false person. That's the challenge here. And the universe is suggesting as far as an outcome is the follow the eighth house energy, which is to follow your instinct. All right, clarify with the two of pentacle. Um, I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles in reverse. So what I feel like here is... um. I feel like you have an ex who may be reaching out to you, um, but you don't trust this person. You don't trust them. Um, they want a new. The challenge is that they want something new, but with the false person here, like the Percano symbol is that this person wants something new with you. All right, because this is somebody you're not communicating with. I feel like you stopped communicating with them because they played a lot of games with the football energy here. Um and so you stop communicating with this person. Or it could be vice versa. They stop communicating with you. The challenge here is somebody wants to reunite. But the thing is, is this person is a false person. You've already confirmed that. Or they've already confirmed that about you. And so the outcome is to follow your instinct here. And your instinct is telling you with the uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse that the situation may not go anywhere. But let's get some clarity and see what else we can find out. So why are you not talking to this person with the uh, sweetheart energy in reverse? All right, that's one too many cards. Why are you not talking to this person? Why are they not talking to you? However this goes. We have it clarified with the four of wands. Um, this could be that you're dealing with someone who's married. Or maybe you're married. And this is, okay, somebody may have been feeling played because there could have been a third party situation here. Um, or you may have met this person. Um, hmm. For some of you, you may have lived with this person and you may have separated from this person with the four of wands energy, okay, is what I'm feeling here. So you guys have already went around the block already. This could be somebody you were married to. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could have been someone you had children with. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But just, you know, tweak it towards uh, what works for you. But this person may want to reunite or you may be wanting to reunite, but somebody's not trusting the other person. They consider this person false or fake. Yeah, um, this person is only after their best interest with the six of uh, six of clubs. So this is what is confirmed. It's like, yeah, you know, you want to reconnect, but you're only in it for your own best interest. Like this is player energy. OK, with the six of uh, clubs as well as the football here. Yeah. So this is a player energy. So this could be somebody, like I said, who is married. OK, or somebody could be playing games because they need a place to stay, you know. Um, but the universe is telling you or this person, you know, and I say this person because maybe you're trying to go back to this person. Maybe they don't trust you because maybe you they feel played by you. Um Somebody could be looking for a place to stay, though, and that's why they could be coming back around, okay? Um, but you're, you're, this person doesn't have any money with the uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They don't have any money. Uh, this is, and if it's somebody who um, is a player, they're just going to keep you in a stagnant energy. The relationship is not going to progress anywhere. Clarify that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so we have the Eight of Swords, and I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so this is going to be frustration for you, aggravation for you. And for some of you, this person is calling or you're calling them, and this person is just like, they either have you blocked or they're not answering. Or you have them blocked and you're not answering them. Yeah, because underneath the deck, we have judgment. It's like you're looking at the situation like, you know what, uh-uh. I already been through this. I'm not going to continue doing it. Or maybe the other person feels that way um, about you. That could be the case. But let's get some divine timing cards here and see what divine timing comes out. Now, the divine timing, just like anything else in the reading, may resonate or it may not. Um, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. So we have yesterday. For some of you, yesterday could be relevant in, in reference to any of these situations. 2020, okay, so uh, two years ago. I'm sorry, last year, I'm bugging. <laughs> last year, I'm thinking it's 2022 already. I'm going too fast. And then we have Memorial Day weekend. So Memorial Day weekend is coming up, okay? Um, that's like this weekend, okay? Because today is Tuesday, the 23rd or the 24th? Twenty. Today is Monday the 24th. All right, so this could have been Memorial Day last year. Or um, this could be about this year. Maybe this person reached out to you yesterday because they may be trying to see what you're trying to do for Memorial Day. Or maybe vice versa. You may try to reach out to this person. Um, like I said, maybe some of you wanted to go on a vacation and get away. And maybe you're calling this person because this could be vacation as well. All right. So this could be from another perspective here. Somebody could be trying to reach out to you with the sweetheart card in reverse uh, because maybe they want to have some fun. They want to go on vacation. 
okay? The challenge is, is maybe you, um, you don't trust this person because maybe they've been false to you or fake to you. But see this person, she's holding a, a puppet. It's like, you know, maybe this person just knows how to pull your strings. Uh, this could be somebody who's very attractive. A lot of people like this person. But this could also be somebody who's self-centered and, and, and all about what they want. Um, the thing is, is though, what this person could be hiding is, is that they don't have any money with the Two of Pentacles in reverse uh, and the Eight of Wands in reverse here. This is all about maybe ignoring someone, someone causing frustration or aggravation, someone not being able to go anywhere because they don't have money. That could be the case, too. So it could be a combination of things. All right. So let's see. All right, King Virgo, we all have to spend some money in the month of June. So let's see what kind of money you'll be spending in June. So hopefully I said June 2021 because this is what this is for. So let's get three cards. Are you going to be spending money or are you going to get some money for the month of June? What do you, let's see. Cash is king came out, okay? So some of you, um, you know, you may need to keep some cash on you because if you are going on vacation or going on a road trip or something like that, um, you know, it's good to have some cash in your pocket. You know, um, a lot of people are like, oh, cash is not king anymore. But you'd be surprised at how many people, for some of you, could be looking for a place. You would be surprised at how many people, like if you're renting a house, right, and opposed to going through an apartment complex, and you talk to the uh, the person who owns the home directly. I guarantee you, if say the rent is $1,000, if you came in and you looked at the place and you liked it, if you gave him $2,000 right then and there versus somebody who, you know, said, okay, well, you know, I can pay you by credit card or I can give you a, a certain percent or I can write you a check. I guarantee you that person will take that cash. I guarantee you that. So in certain circumstances, cash is still king. So I feel like you know that. So, you know, you, you just need to be able to have ca a access to cash. Even if you don't carry a lump sum on you, you know, be able to run to the ATM machine and grab, you know, a thousand bucks out if you need to. Um, you know, something like that. But keeping cash on you, I feel like it's going to be good. Uh, we have groceries. You're going to be spending money on groceries this month. Who isn't, right? Let's get one more card. What are you going to be spending on or are you going to get any money? So thus far, the only thing you're really spending is on groceries. Cash is King is just saying that, you know, um, maybe you should just keep some cash in your pocket just in case something quick comes up and you're like, oh, here, I got the cash right here. You know, you could be around a couple different people and everybody wants the same thing, but you got the cash in your hand so you could just grab it and go, right? And I guarantee you, whoever's selling it is going to take that cash. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> For some of you, we're dealing with late mortgage payment, late rent payment. Okay, so some of you are going to be spending money catching up on your rent. Like I said, for some of you, you're looking for a place. So um, it could be that um, in a sense, it may not be late. For some of you, it could be late and you just don't like where you live but you're, and you're paying your rent late. Some of you, it could be that, you know, because you don't live with this person anymore, now you got to hustle up money on your own. Maybe they were helping you pay bills. Um, but it looks like for some of you, this person wants to come back, but they don't got no money. And I don't, I don't think they have a job either. So, you know, you're hustling now because you have to make up, you know, for what this person no longer is able to provide. Um, you hustling and say, and paying the bills by yourself. So that might be why you're late because you had a partner or a roommate at one point and now you don't. So that could be the case. Uh, but let's see what we're looking at if we're dealing with love situations for King Virgo. Let's see. King Virgo. All right, so we have here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. So what this is telling me is if there's somebody from the past coming back around, this card is an indicator that you should focus on if someone if you're currently dating someone new, focus on them. If you're not, focus on yourself. Like, this is a clear indicator not to take the past back. And I feel like for some of you, you already know that because you got this person blocked. Because your intuition is telling you that this person don't want nothing with the Knight of um, Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Which is why you have this person blocked. And or you know this person don't want nothing. They don't have no money. They could be coming towards you with, for money. Um, and it, it's frustrating dealing with them with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So the next card we have is trust. Uh-huh. So we just talked about it. it's safe to trust in the situation. So this is all about trusting your intuition. And this is what the universe is telling you with the eighth house energy here. Trust your um your intuition. Right? 
<clears throat> this person just wants to have sex and that's it. They don't want anything from you. Or for some of you, they just want to keep you stagnant. All right, and then we have decision. It's time to decide about this connection. So, yeah, this person is going to reach out to you if they haven't already. Okay, they will be reaching out. Uh, some of you may have this person blocked already because you already know what time it is with them. Um, others of you, if they're reaching out, it's because they want to have sex. They could be coming off. I don't know what other way they could be coming off, but that's the goal. You know, they want to be intimate with you. For some of you, like I said, they need a place to stay. They don't have any money. For others of you, this relationship is not going to go anywhere. It's just about sex, you know. So if they're telling you they want to be with you or they want to, it's just about sex. They're after their own um, agenda because they're a false person. Remember, we talked about the false person energy here. How, you know, this person wants to get back with you, but they're full of shit. And they're all about themselves, you know. So let's see what uh, messages we have from this deck here for you guys. Okay, messages for King Virgo. Messages of advice for King Virgo. The first card we have is orphaned. Some of you are feeling a bit lonely because you are no longer with someone. You may have split up with someone. And this could be the person who's trying to contact you or maybe you're trying to contact someone because maybe you just want to have fun. You don't want to be in anything serious. Uh, but maybe because of the past of you and this person, they may not trust you. So, or it could be vice versa, however it is with that person. But I feel like some of you feel alone. Um, and this could be what this is too as well. Some of you, um, you may be feeling orphaned. There's some change going on with the number five here. Uh, there's definitely some change going on in your world. This also represents the Hierophant energy. Some of you may have uh, separated from your person. Okay, like I said, with the Sweetheart in reverse here and the um, Four of Wands, some of you may have gone through a divorce and or separation or just split up with someone that you've been with for a long time. And you could just be feeling lonely right now going through a transition. What else do we have for the King Virgo? Messages for King Virgo, please. What else does he need to know in reference to the situation? What else does he need to know? Okay, so we have all that glitters. So yeah, this person who's coming back around, like I said, they look good. <laughs> with the six of, of clubs here, they look good, but they're a false individual. You already know that. You've already dealt with them. Um, also, this could be somebody new too for some of you coming through. Um, but you just need to be careful of this person's intentions. For some of you, it could be about this position that you had. Maybe it looked good, but the reality of it is, is you're not happy with it and you're not really making any money. It could be a bunch of bullshit office politics uh, as well or, you know, people watching you. And, you know, I feel like a comfortable, a uncomfortable work environment. All right. So this is a tower moment here with the number 16 it represents the tower energy. So, you, you know, your intuition could have been telling you something about any of these situations here, but maybe you've been avoiding the change or putting off making the change here. Uh, and then the universe said, okay, here we go. And then it flattened things out by, you know, an unexpected surprise of some sort. But just keep in mind that when a tower happens, it's always for the best because the universe is doing it to put you on the path that you're supposed to be on. Because you were, you know running down the path you wasn't supposed to go to. It's like a little two-year-old running down the driveway. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go get this two-year-old before they run out to the street. You know? And so that's what's going on here. And so some of you, it, it was ending a relationship or leaving a job. And as a result, you may feel a little alone. But that transition needed to occur so that positive things can come for you. Yeah, see, we have decision energy here. Major decision energy with the fork in the road energy. And a decision card here. So you definitely have to decide about something. Okay, it could be about this job. It could be about this person. But we know that there's a transformation going on with you with the death energy here of the number 13. Major arcana death. All right. So we know there's major change going on because we got the number five here as well. And the tower moment. So this was an unexpected change. This was something that you did not do. This is something that just happened. Uh, not just happened. I don't want to say it like that. But... This is something that the universe had to step in and change for you because maybe you weren't seeing what was going on here because you may have been fooled by what this person had to offer or what this job had to offer. And so you got caught up and the universe had to come and get you out of that situation. 
in whatever way the tower moment came. Let's get three more cards here. We'll wrap up your reading. Let's see where we are here. Okay. Your reading was pretty cut and dry. All right, so we have... Well, okay, so we got four. So have starfish, excuse me, starfish spirit open to infinite possibilities. So I feel like this is with your career aspiration as well and you traveling or moving, okay? Opening up to um, infinite possibilities, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's the temperance energy, all right? And that's also about divine intervention. Like I said, with this tower moment, this is what I feel like the universe stepped in and changed some things for you. So now you just need to be open to the change. Some of you are still adjusting to it, not comfortable with it, but it's for the best. And then we have sing your own song. Okay, this is the canary spirit. Uh, the number 12 major arcana is the Neptune energy here. Neptune's about to go into retrograde. So um, what, it, it, what it does is it allows you to see things clearly. Not only other people's intentions, but, you know, what it is that you want for yourself. And so you're able to sing your own song. So for some of you, this could be about the career aspirations that you have. You know, you want to do something that's best for you. This is all about creativity here, is what I feel. Because the Neptune energy deals with creativity, your creative imagination. So some of you are just trying to find out, you know, what's best for you or, or do something that you truly love that is, is uh, something that you can create. I feel like some of you, you're doing that, but you're just trying to find a way to make money from it. So maybe you're looking for people who will be willing to buy what it is that you are selling or looking in, um, looking for, uh, damn, the word just slipped. Looking for various networks in, in um, which you know, your product or service would be uh, appreciated. It could be some of you may need to go online, you know, advertise what you do online. Uh, we have Buffalo Spirit. It, it says uh, the abundant universe will provide. That came out in reverse. So maybe some of you got fired from a job or you quit a job. Okay, there could have been some power struggles at the job, but this is a job that the universe didn't want you at anyway. And maybe you were afraid to quit. This is why the abundant universe will provide came out in reverse. Maybe some of you were not listening to the universe when it was trying to direct you out of that situation. And it was because maybe you didn't have um, other money coming in. Right? Um, now, with the number 10 energy here, this represents uh, career, the, the house of career which is Capricorn energy. So yeah, um, you were in a position here where, you know, it wasn't conducive to financial success and financial stability is what I'm getting here. Uh, and then we have wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. So some of you have experienced some things uh, that you um, had to go through that put you in a position where you learned a lot. You learned a lot about yourself. You learned a lot about people uh, and how, you know, and what to look out for moving on. So with this wisdom energy here, this is an energy of, okay, I'll never be put in that position again. You know, I know better now. Uh, so that could be in any of these uh, areas here. But we have the number 13 here. 6 plus 7 is 13. So we got another, another 13 here, which is talking about transformation and change going on. So for you, what you got a lot of change going on. This is the universe stepping in and, and changing things for you uh, to put you in a direction that you need to go. All right, so this is what I got for you, King Virgo. If this resonated, let me know in the comments. If you need a personal, my information's in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please check your other placements. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next reading.